Hi everyone, welcome back to Prakasham Tutorials. In this video, I am going to design end coupled microship bandpass filter using HFSS software. Before going to the design, what is end coupled microship bandpass filter? And this is the general configuration, general figure of the end coupled microstrip bandpass filter. So each open end microstrip resonator, each open end microstrip resonator is approximately a half guided wavelength lambda by 2 at the mid band frequency of the bandpass filter. The coupling from one resonator to the other resonator is through the gap between the two adjacent open ends and hence is capacitive. So now here this, uh, this gap will act as a capacitor. So in this the gap can be represented by the inverters. Now here so this gap is represented by the inverters. So these J inverters tends to reflect high impedance levels to the end of each of the of wavelength resonators and it can be shown that this caused the resonators to ex exhibit a shunt resonance. So this is the layout of the three pole microstrip end coupled half wavelength resonator. So three pole, three pole means so this is one pole and this is second pole and this is third pole. So, three pole layout of the three pole micro strip end coupled half wavelength resonator. So, now here in this design, I am considering the operating frequency is 6 gigahertz and type of the material is Rosas RT or Duraid 6010 and its dielectric constant is 10.2. I am considering height of the substrate is 1.6 mm. So in this design, I am considering the basic parameters of the end coupled micro strip band pass filter. Initially, I am considering the operating frequency or the resonating frequency is 6 GHz. And type of the material is Rogers RT Duride 6010 and its dielectric constant is 10.2. And Thickness of the substrate is 1.6 mm. So this is the layout. So in this layout, adding all the parameters. So both the ends of this layout, we use 50 ohm transmission line. This is 50 ohm transmission line and this is 50 ohm transmission line. So using uh, using these basic parameters, using online microship line, uh, online microship line calculator, Calculate the width of the 50 ohm transmission line. The width of the 50 ohm transmission line is 1.5 mm and length of the 50 ohm transmission line is I am considering 10 mm and adding all these values. So this is 10 mm and this is 10 mm and this is this length is 8.148 and this length is also 1.84 and this length is 0. sorry 8.399 and this gap value is 0 0.057 and this gap value is also 0 0.057 so this gap and this gap value is 0 0.801 and adding all these values so the length of the line is the length of the line is 46.411 mm so here I am considering the length of the substrate is 46.411 mm and width of the substrate is 30 mm. So now go, go, now go, now open HFSS software. So first draw the substrate. Select the box. Draw the box anywhere in the plane. Give the rename of this box one substrate. And select the type of the material. Here I am selecting Rosas Rosas 
processors RT are derived 6010 and its dielectric constant is 10.2. and change the dimensions of the substrate so this is the general layout of the three pole end coupled micro strip band pass filter adding all these values this length of the line is 46.411 mm so i am considering the length of the substrate is 46.411 mm and the length of the substrate is that is x size 46. 411 mm and considering the width of, width of the substrate is 30 mm and height of the substrate is here I am considering 1.6 mm minus 1.6 mm and position and x position value is half of the x size value minus 46.411 by 2 before representing negative sign and y position values half of the y size value before representing negative sign minus 30 by 2 and z position is 0 mm so now press ok button select fit all so this is the substrate so below the substrate we can design crown plane select the rectangular sheet so draw the rectangular sheet anywhere in the plane so give the rename of this rectangular sheet this is the ground plane And the dimensions, the length and width of the ground plane is same as that of the length and width of the substrate. And the length of the ground plane is 46.411 mm and width of the ground plane is 30 mm and x position is minus 23.2055 and y position is minus 15 mm, z position is so the ground plane is below the substrate now where the jet portion is minus 1.6 so now press the ok button and rotate the structure this is the ground plane so on the top of the ground plane is substrate so on the top of the substrate we can design band pass filter so first to design first to draw the 50 ohm transmission line both the ends of the substrate select the rectangular sheet so draw the rectangular sheet anywhere in the plane so give the rename of this rectangular sheet is 50 ohm transmission line 50 ohm line so change the dimensions of the 50 ohm transmission line and axis is z axis i am considering the length of the 50 ohm transmission line is 10 mm and using micro strip online calculator calculate the width of the 50 ohm transmission line so the 50 ohm transmission line width is 1.5 mm and x position is 23.2055 mm and y position is half of the y size value before representing negative sign minus 1.5 by 2 and this is a 50 ohm transmission line and similarly draw another 50 ohm transmission line at the end of the substrate so select this 50 ohm transmission line press ctrl c ctrl v and change the dimensions of the spaced element of the 50 ohm transmission line and this is minus 23 now where the exercise is plus 10 mm press ok button this is another end of the 50 ohm transmission line and this gap is 0 0.057 so design the element L1 L2 this is the element L1 element L2 element L3 so this gap will act as a capacitor Select the rectangular sheet, draw the rectangular sheet anywhere in the plane. And this is element L1. So now 
now here this element L1 length is 8.148 mm and width of the line is 1.5 mm here I am considering 1.5 And length is minus 8.148 and y size and y size is that uh, width of the 50 ohm transmitter here also same width so that is 1.5 mm so now here the exposition and the 50 ohm transmission line exposition is uh, 23.2055 mm and the length of the 50 ohm transmission line is 10 mm and subtracting that length of the 50 ohm transmission line from uh, X position 50 ohm transmission line. So 23.2055 minus 10.0 and this gap value. Now this gap value 0 0.057. So the X position value is the exposition value of in the, uh, element L1 is 13.1485 and exposition is y portion is and half of the y size value before representing negative sign minus 1.5 by 2 z portion is 0 now press the ok button This is the gap. That gap value is 0.057 mm. Next, draw the element L3. Select this element L1. Press Ctrl C, Ctrl V. So, change the dimensions. Uh, give the rename of this pasted element, element L3, and change the dimensions of this element. So, now we are minus 13.1485, and this is plus 8.148 now press ok button so this is element L3 next draw the element L2 and this gap value is 0 0.801 so this element L2 length is 8.399 mm select the rectangular sheet draw the rectangular sheet anywhere in the plane Give the rename of this rectangular sheet. This is element L2. Change the dimensions of this element. And the length is 8.39 mm. So, minus 8.399 mm. And the width of the element L2 is 1.5 mm and exposition and this L1 exposition is 13.1485 mm and this gap value is 0 0.801 and subtracting thirteen point okay And this element uh, L1 exposition is 13.1485 mm minus and this element L1 length is 8.148 minus 8.148 minus this gap value length is 0 0.801. So the resultant value is 4.9905. So the exposition value of element L2 is 4.9905. Once again I will calculate. This exposition value is 13.1485.
1485 minus 8.148 minus 0.801 point, sorry 4.1995 so this exposure value is 4.1995 and y portion values half of the y size value before indicate negative sign minus 1.5 by 2 z portion is 0 mm so press the ok button so this is inductor element L2 and after that rotate the structure so this is y axis this is the z axis change the plane select y z plane so draw the port 1 and port 2 and assign lumpur port excitation first to draw the port 1 select the rectangular sheet so draw the rectangular sheet anywhere in the plane so give the rename of this rectangular sheet this is port 1 So change the dimensions of the port 1. Now where the height of the substrate is 1.6. So jet size is minus 1.6. And uh, width of the 50 ohm transmission line is 1.5 mm. So y size is 1.5. And x portion is 23.2055 mm. And uh, y size is half of the y size value. So 1.5 divided by so 0.75 press ok button and another end draw the port so this is another end so here also draw the port 2 select port 1 press ctrl c ctrl v so uh, change the dimensions of the p2 this exposition is minus 23.2055 mm so this is another end now assign lumbar port excitation of port 1 and port 2 select port 1 right click on the port 1 go to assign excitation lumbar port uh, full port impedance is 50 ohms select new line integration so draw the new line integration from lower port to the upper port successfully defined click finish button so this is port 1 lumpur port excitation and rotate the structure assign lumpur port excitation of port 2 select port 2 right click on the port 2 go to assign excitation lumpur port select new line integration so draw the new line integration from lower port to upper port successfully defined click finish button and this is second port now coming back to the xy plane
So now assign perfect electric boundary. Select both the ends of the 50 ohm transmission line and inductor element L1, L2, L3 and select the ground plane. Right click on that one. Go to assign boundary. Select perfect E boundary. Click OK button. So this is perfect electric boundary. Now assign analysis setup. Go to the solution. Advanced. Go to the simulation. Advanced. So now your operating frequency is 6 gigahertz. I am selecting maximum number of passes are 12. Maximum delta S is 0 0.02. Press OK button. And select the sweep type is fast and uh, linear count and the starting frequency is 3 gigahertz ending frequency is 9 gigahertz and select uh, number of points are 101 so now press ok button now select open region boundary go to the model right click on the model create open region click ok button so this is open region this is perfect electric boundary now check the validation of the design go to the simulation click validate button so design is successfully validated now start the simulation press analyze all button So simulation is completed. Now observe the S parameter and band pass filter response curve. So go to the results, right click on the results, select create model solution data report, select rectangular plot, select S parameter S11 and S21 in decibel, click new report. So S11 is the written loss curve and S21 is the insertion loss. That insertion loss curve is the band pass filter response curve. So now here at 6 giga edges, the return loss value is minus 2.3. So now here the, in this design I am considering the specifications are 6 gigahertz operating frequency and 10.2 dielectric constant 1.6 mm uh, and 5.9 gigahertz operating frequency or 5.88 gigahertz operating frequency so we are also getting the thickness of the uh, the width of the 50 ohm tra 50 ohm transmission is also 1.5 so this is also working at at 5.88 gigahertz.